Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Last Faith. Now I'm actually doing the intro in post because I forgot to do it in the actual recording, but I wanted to point out that I've defeated Manfred the Accursed in the last video that I've done, and I've gotten two eyeballs, which I have no idea what they're used for. So we're gonna go ahead and move on from here. And I believe that once I'm done editing this video, this is going to be the final part, the finale video. But before we go there, I'm going to explain a little bit of what I did off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and have the me in the recording go ahead and explain what I've done uh, while I was off screen. So here we go. First of all, I went ahead and decided to complete some of the quest lines here. The first one I completed is Aldric, who was in this room. But after going around and doing a bit of backtracking with the new double jump that I picked up, I found the tome he was looking for. Um, and then he left. And I did manage to find him, but not in the best way. Then later after that, I actually went ahead and also found another cold liver for the witch up in the attic here. Nothing much has changed after that. But the best part is I brought the two little girls together. Uh, turns out that toy that I found was the last toy that I needed to finally convince her to go to the mansion. And they seem pretty content with each other. The, la the little girl kept mentioning about the, the lens that I, already got, that I already had very early on. The, what was it? The lens. Let's see if I could find it. Oh, there it is. The technological lens. She was talking about this for a while because she wanted to, she said that the only company she had were phantoms, but she doesn't see them. So I think this, I think her quest line was kind of like telling me like a clue. Oh, um, outside of Erlim, there, there's this place where you can find these lens. So, you know, that was fun. But the best part is they're together now and they're not alone anymore. Um, aside from, aside from that, NPC wise, there isn't much change. I did pick up a bunch of different items as you can obviously see from the red marker here. Um, I don't know which ones I picked up in the last video and which ones I didn't, but I did end up finding the Jailer's Key opens all gates in the Temple of the Deposed Gods, so I can actually explore that area now. And it turns out this was not even an item that you would find normally. You, It actually was hidden up in the church. <laughs> in the, in the, the church in the high walls. Way up above. So, you know, it was just, it was just tucked away in a corner. You had to double jump and grapple to get to it. So... To be honest, I think that's going to be my next stop. And I did end up finding uh, one more area that I can also explore. And it's way over. It's way over here. I marked it this time. So I did find out the, the uh, I guess you could say they're the hearts that you would use to unlock like some the tomb. And there was a bed in the middle. So that's another area that I can that I can go to. And then after these two, I think I'm ready to take on the high wall. The high walls of Mithringol. I did unlock a door here, so it's easier to go across. But yeah, all this area to the right, I'll be heading after that. If I have the time. I'm going to try to keep this session a bit shorter than the other ones because I've been, I've been doing a lot of game sessions of this game for a while and I feel like feel like I'm kind of like overdoing it for myself. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started. There's a lot of ground to cover for this area. So I think it's going to start up here. And then we're going to head down south and unlock the door back here. Because I know you can't unlock it from this side. And then I can unlock the other two doors here after that. All right. Plan go into action. I'm very certain that these areas here won't lead to like the final area of the game because I think the final area of the game is past like the high wall of Mithringal. So it's not, I'm not going to exactly going to like accidentally run into story progression here. 
I doubt it. Yep. There we go. Ooh, you're new. Are you a jailer? This is interesting. Cathedral priest. And I forgot the the name of that guy, but it doesn't matter. He's dead. I just realized something. This is a temple. Why is why is there like jail and everything inside a temple? Oh my. You are certainly, you are certainly a problem. Jesus, giant of sacrament. I felt sacramented there, I'll tell you that much. Oh, interesting. Look at the, uh, what looks like Iron Maidens in the background. I wonder if they torture prisoners with these. Whoop. Thank you. Uh, I could go further down here. I'm, I'm going to go down here and further around. I might explore the rest of this place after that. Maybe. Oh, never mind. I can't do shit. <laughs> That's right. Isn't it the temple that also did, like, a bunch of experiments to, like, empower their devotees? These are- these guys are part of the ethereal order, aren't they? Ow! Ooh, they are quite accurate. Well, brand new enemies! I was kind of getting tired of seeing the same, the same slashers and the same, uh, I don't know, the same other, uh, like, demons. A lot of them kind of, like, were running the same, which is probably, which, one of my bigger complaints about any game is that they would just... They would use the same enemy, but gave them a little more variation, you know what I mean? I never really like that. Ooh. Die, 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 die. I wish for you to die much faster. I'm at, at least I'm in the right level for this. Heaven forbid they would make this area harder. Especially that since I got my dexterity up to 50. Hey, you come back here. Dark Comet Charm. Oh, let me guess. I wonder what it does. Oh, it's different. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another... Oh, damage, defense, resistance. No, 5% healing for parry. And 20% parry damage. Oh, okay. Um, unfortunately, I have um, forgone the ways of parrying. And decided to just use a shield. I'd rather use shield. I mean, I don't mind the pairing system in this game, but I am just, I am not good at it. 
and I feel like I'm never going to be good at it. That's just how I am. Gonna have to look for more. Woo! Come on, there's gotta be an, a destructible wall in one of these. Nothing. Whole lot of disappointment. That's what I got from this. Uh oh! Oh my god, I almost got myself killed. Go shoot someone else. You nonsense. I gotta say, upping my strength definitely seemed to be the right way to go on this. I'm loving the damage I'm doing right now. And when the uh, when the critical damage come up, when the crit hits, it feels beautiful. Feels just wonderful. Oh, you're new. Wait, you're not new. I fought you before. You guys like to do the same move over and over. Ow. Well, I mean, probably don't get hit by it. I need to use this. Thank you. Ow! Oh, the pain! Got one of you. Beautiful. What is my reward for coming all the way down here? The Walren family crest. Leonard Walren gifted Ladak his family emblem, though no one is certain why. All that is known is that he entrusted Ladak implicitly. Yet after Leonardo's disappearance, the crest soon followed, consumed by shadow, a new manifestation fabricated by one who has seen past the veil. So this is my third family crest that I picked up. I need to find one more. Where that is... I have no clue. By the way, I'm hoping to... Probably not 100% this game, but definitely I want to... Uh, get most of whatever this game has. Oh god. There we go. And I definitely wanted to see if I can get the family crest somewhere. I'm sure... I'm sure I can get it, right? Wait, what is this? What? Why can't I get up there? For some reason, 
they're saying that you can double jump when you get off the wall, which doesn't make sense to me because when I try to do it, look, oh, oh, it's very, de it was very delayed. I don't know why it wasn't registering, but uh, okay, let, let's try it this time. It didn't work. Why am I not? There we go. Gee, for some reason, the air dash does not like <laughs> didn't work at the press of a button. And I was confused. All right. All right, we're good now. We're kosher. So what is up here? More demi shade or I I might be thinking of using I might think of using a uh another a different weapon now, but There we go. I knew there was something. I knew they didn't... I knew there was something here. It was a baby. I'll take it. I'll take the baby. So, this is everything... in the area that I can see. What is that little door there? That's the only thing that's, that's like, throwing me off. What is that tiny door? Is that supposed to be something? Or is that some kind of like typo or not a typo, you know, uh, I mean, is it some kind of like graphical issue or a graphical error? Or is there really a door there? There's nothing connecting. There's nothing connecting that thing. It might be a graphical issue. I'm not sure. I feel like this game... I feel like this is the kind of game that would probably have weird sprite issues somewhere. All right. So my next stop then would be to that graveyard with the bed. I think this is the, yeah, this is the best spot to go. All right. So the four hearts are here. And now I sleep. And I'm... I'm very certain this is not the last boss kind of situation because they were... I don't think they would. That would be stupid. Yeah. I thought so. It's another... It's a, It's that... Uh, it's like just like the other bed. I get rewards. Bunch of items on that one. The Devourer of the Betrayed. Legend states this blade emerged from a complex ritual of the Daughters of the Night Tide. Invoking a dark power, the blade pl replaced by a layer of rust and corruption, more resistant than any no mortal material. A discovery of similar blades was made on a seabed near Erlem. The, back the Black Halls restarted the study of the union of this power with Nycrux and were able to harness it, but they became corrupted, seemingly consumed. Intriguing. A dexterity mind weapon. Ah, oh, man. I thought this was at least a dexterity instinct weapon because that's what it looks like, but no. I guess it's because it's dark element. You need to use mine for for that sort of thing. Give me a sec here. Uh, a bunch of more items. Okay. Upgrade materials. That's always welcome. Nocturnal charm. All right. So this is probably the one with the dark resistance. No. 10% ma maximum focus and health. All right. Slap that on me. More health and focus is better for me. My build now consists of no no intelligence, <laughs> no instinct, just smash, smash weapon into face. So with that, 
mean, the only really thing, the only real thing I know that's left is the high wall. I hope that's where the remaining stuff is, right? Unless I'm missing something. I could be missing something. Well, I am missing the, uh, I'm missing the last crest, but I have no idea where that is. All right, we're going to level up a bit, and then we're going to make our way to the high wall, I guess. Hi. Oh, she gave me a blessing. An artifact unwittingly created by the northern nobility from the bodies of their own babies in pursuit of absolute dominion. These children, the unborn of the midnight aristocracy, are preserved experiments. This particular limb rumored to belong to one of the very few. The power permeating this unique weapon may be mighty, but is one of, of only a few seek. That doesn't sound good to me. <laughs> Icy strike to damage and disable enemies. Costs 11 focus to use. Um, once again, I'm not a, f I'm not a mind freak, so it's not going to help me at, at all. Just spend our Nycrux here. Look at that beautiful red bar going across my screen. And we're going to just, uh, I guess, go to high wall. So there's nothing to the very left, so let's just go to the right now. Oh, that was not the button I wanted. Okay, the enemies here are still pretty tough. Despite the fact that I'm like, I'm pretty buff myself. Not sure. I think that was a pit. Did I just dodge a pit? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, that would have been terrible for me. I guess I go down somewhere else. Jesus Christ, man. No, I'm good. I don't need to bring anything out from you. I'm not able to get up there, right? Am I able to get up there with... Maybe I can get up there with the transformation. I have not been using this transformation very much. Nope. Arr, I have the power. All right, that was that was nice, I guess. Let's double check these areas here. Make sure I'm not missing any secrets. Nope. I wouldn't imagine there's anything behind those gargoyles. Ow. Oh yeah, you are... You are something. Yes, I would like to swing at nothing, please. Barf blood boy, huh? Can't say I was not expecting barf blood. <laughs> Come 
Come on. That would have been terrible if I let them. Oh, you can actually do ground attacks too. Impressive. I think my vitality is, I think I have more than enough vitality then at this point. If I'm able to tank hits like that. Also, I realized I am... What am I doing this for? I guess to get up here faster? Sure. Why not? Oh! Pathetic person. That's what he told me. Oh my god. Alright, I'll just slice through your guts. Why was he le why was he less tough than the last one I fought? I don't know. Alright. Temporary checkpoint, that's usually not a good thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I knew you would do something. I didn't think you would bite my face. All right, you are. You are incredibly annoying. They don't flinch when I hit them as they're jumping. Which makes it even worse. I knew it. Uh oh. It's this thing again. <laughs> it's hilarious. For them to have the same enemy here. Ooh, I accidentally touched him. I, I landed on his bottom and it took half my health. You know, as it should, you touch butts, you... Your butt gets kicked. person's letter. There's a strange aura not of this mortal world, numbing as far as the eye can see. A light beckons, a weapon of unbreakable ice tempts and taunts those who attempt to take it for themselves. Yet their efforts punish them for their assumptions and ignorance. The celestial deems them unworthy. Hmm. Don't care. Stigma of catalysis. Catalysis. The power of the opposer strengthens the stigma's wielder and temporarily hastens their attacks without affecting their health. Only one is known to possess such a power, a cosmic force working tirelessly against the mighty ministry. It is an advantage to always be one step ahead. Oh, it's a buff! Gain temporary boost to speed of all attacks. Consumes power per use. I want to see this. Oh my god. Does it Yep, yep, it works for my weapon skill too. Oh, that is good. I kind of like that. 
And now I'm stuck. Uh, oh, yeah, I have to go that way. That's why there was a temporary checkpoint there. I'm not going to save because I don't want to freaking... I don't want to go through the whole thing of fighting all the enemies to get over there again. I'm lazy like that. So we're just going to go ahead and just move on. And right, what do you got for me? Another ambush. Because of course. Everybody loves to be in the same kind of room where there's enemies everywhere. Again. Yeah. Let's try that again with a suck piece. it. That is a good skill. That is a good stigma. And now it's just more of this. Whoa. Oh, you have a charge attack. That's interesting. Normally, I don't see uh, enemies have more than like two moves. But that one surprised me. He actually had some, an actually good arsenal. Alright, should I go back and level up? I'll take my chances. Besides, if I can get more opportunity to get more Nycrux, that would be great too. Alright, we're back in another old building. Because of course we are. Oh my god, they were just waiting. I thought it was something important, but no, it was just there was a door. It won't open from this side. <laughs> just a just a nice lady walking her dogs to the giant freaking church. Which I imagine is maybe like close or at the final area of the game. Oh, hi. Can I unlock that? It won't open. It's strange that the Lady in Ink is the same creature as these fellas. Which can only, which can only mean that the woman in ink uh, came from this particular place, the high walls of Mith Mithringle. Wow, I got that. I got the word right again. <laughs> I wonder why she want. I wonder why she wants me to help her though. And these ladies just want me dead. I guess it's I guess it still has something to do with like still being human even though you are turning. 
right? It's probably still that situation. Hold on, I'm gonna check the other side real quick. Can't go that way. At least I know there's an elevator there. Yeah, this is probably one of the few games where... Like, not all the creatures that are turning are act actually, like, automatically become evil. You know what I mean? Like, they still have a shred of humanity left before they start eating your face. Take this completely by accident. I'll take it. A baby! I think I need, like, let's see, 10. I think I need 10, 9 or 10 more, and then I'll have everything for her. I doubt, I, I, I feel like I did, I, I absolutely missed a baby somewhere. I feel like I absolutely did. But I have absolutely no idea what they would be. Because I have been, like, swinging my my uh, scythe pretty much everywhere. I can't imagine missing out on a secret wall somewhere. It's possible that it's an area that's high up, like using a double jump, and that's where I'm missing them. No! I don't know what you are, but you all deserve to die. I go up? No, I can't. So I opened I opened that. Yeah. I imagine there was another elevator, but I guess not. And those noises scare me. Oh, it's another one of you fuckers. Fresh meat, your fresh blood. Is there more? Who are you? What are you looking for? Interesting. This one actually fucking talks. Oh wait, they do talk. They just don't have conversations very well. No, I just don't want to be you. Look at me! You little worthless human, they say. Everything will come to an end. But... Oh. If everything will come to an end that we will live again. I missed that line. Uh-huh. I don't think he's doing a very good job. Are we, are we fighting now? Woo! Power up! I'm not done with you.
Uh, whoops. Whoops. Can't use my power again. All right, you can shut up now. You have darkness now. Ow! That was the wrong item. Give a few hits off you. Then I'm gonna run away. I would like you to come closer, please. Finish him! Finish him! The Beast Within, defeat the Cold One Beast. Oh yeah, I recognize that pose. Dried Cold One Liver, the currency of the Withered. These mutated organs are rare to come by. Very few know of their existence and corrupted arcane power. Oh, okay, it's the same, it's the same, uh, the same line as the other livers. All right, I'm hoping there's a checkpoint here. I'm gonna run back with this Cold Liver. No, there isn't. He gave me this, though. I don't know why. Oh, now I know why. Take heed. Thou art unworthy to be in the presence of such a holy place. Wait, I... I fought you. Didn't you die? I don't remember. A mere knife told me. Born to serve our righteous Lord Lavalek. I don't care. I don't want to. Ow. Woo. All right, I need a heal. Can you give me a second? Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Pain. What the fuck? I was behind you. Time for a speed boost. I can see that they made the tornado there specifically so that I don't like cheese her in the final moments. All right, just die. 
He dead now? I would I would imagine so. It's eh, alive. Never shall we forgive thee, nor forget. Thou shalt learn thine place amongst the scourge. A mere night one hath no place here. Just give me your, give me my reward. More demi shade and more moon silver. That's gonna be nothing. That's worth nothing to me if I can't find that blueprint. Hmm. Mm hmm. This feels like a final room. This feels like a final area. <laughs> With the blood everywhere. Oh my god. Who's having uh who's having flashbacks of the uh that rotten swamp in Elden Ring right now? With the bubbling uh with the rot bubbling up. I'm having that. I'm having that existential crisis of going through that freaking rotten swamp. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it, it, it runs the same way as the Rotten Swamp. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. A nightmare? How? How do I have nightmare now? Not burning, burning, uh... I'm gonna get killed by that thing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna live. I say as I'm all out of health items. Alright, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna try to skip to a checkpoint. <laughs> I I usually try to fight every enemy in my way, but I have absolutely nothing left. It is only atop this holy place where flesh and the divine can connect. The chaos of the past surrounding these walls. Yet the place where the celestial meets the earth must be learned. The sep a sepulchre, a beacon. Whomever discovers such a place must ascend, both in body and mind. Well, I haven't seen such a place yet. I hope to survive long enough for me to know of such a place. All right, so we got... Sheer silence. I'm dead. I am 100% dead. Oh, I'm even deader now. How? How did that not finish me? Instead, it empowered me. <laughs> A cannon. An infamous relic of the technological age, this cannon has devastating power, yet it is very expensive to maintain due to the high cost of ammunition. It is now the preserve of only the most powerful members of the ethereal order. Its purpose dedicated to science, an emergency measure should an experiment get out of hand. Unfortunately, they kept it in this tiny box. How shameful. Can I use it? I can, but it's... I don't have the instinct anymore. I used to. It scales. It's it's instinct scaling is E. That does not. Uh, that does not entice me to keep it. Oops.
Oh. 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 So you like stabbing people from below, huh? Knew it. Oh my god, there's so many secrets in this castle. I love it. All right. Always, always, uh, always welcome for more healing items at hand. Ethereal order note. A once magnificent fortress is now a mere refuge for the one who manipulates the celestial power unfathomed by mortals. You must be talking about Ladakh. All is protected from unwanted eyes. There is only one way in, in such a bastion, a mirror. Yet its location has been lost. A mirror? Interesting. They're talking about, like, the mirror from S Mansion. Even though, I think I found, I thought I found all the mirrors already. Right. I would feel a hundred times better if I can get my way up here so I can get to the save point. Oh, sorry, I'm ruining your congregation. I'll just be out of your hair in a, in a bit, okay? I'm just gonna get past you. There are so many of you. No, no, no. Don't mind me. I'm just I'm on my way out. <laughs> I'm free! I'm free! Oh man. I did not wanna I I do not wanna lose my 144,000. No freaking way in hell. I, I think 40 might be a good stopping point for my vitality. I'm not sure. Alright, so... 2, 4, 6, 8... Yeah, I'm missing 9 more babies. I don't know. I think I might be out of luck on this one. Because like I said, I, I've been everywhere. The only places where the babies could be that I couldn't see is, is probably like high up in places. Like maybe here? Probably a baby would be here, for example. But who knows? I am gratified to in any case, I'm going to be moving on. I could get up there. But before I do that... There was a, oh, there was a checkpoint here the whole time. Hold on a sec. Give me this. All right. So I think to the right is the way forward, which means there's probably more goodies up above. That's a weird thing, little flame coming out of there. I'm pretty sure that's not the way forward, or maybe it is. Dear. All right. If I had to make this a really big area.
Oh. Oh, so that's what I have to do. All right. I can do that. I think the uh, the whole, like, find four things is starting to get a bit dull for me. I can understand why they do it, so that, you know, ah, to make the, the map seem bigger. But, you know, they really didn't have to go, like, to this extent of always having, like, find the four things to unlock the thing, to unlock, to progress further. There's better ways to do it. And I'm sorry to bring up Blasphemous again, but Blasphemous is a good example. Some areas, yes, you do have to, um, you do have to, like, find four things to open a door. They have some of, they have that in some areas. But, you know, they also have, like, it was like, there was one that was more of a linear area where you just, you hit switches and you go through, like, little obstacle courses. And it was just like that. Some have, like, good platforming segments for uh, as well. I just wish they put a little more variety into how, like, each of the areas worked. Because they can definitely do that. Eh. Mm, mm. Oh, that would... That's going to blow me off. Oh. I got lucky. I got lucky on that. Did I just say blow me off? Please ignore that. Please. I'm scared. Let me walk forward just a bit. So this follows the road up. Interesting. All right, give me a sec here. I just unlocked the ladder that led back down to another part of the map. I'm gonna t I'm gonna look at that. Oh, that was it. So this continues further upward. I don't know. Like I said. I, I feel like this is the final area of the game and I don't want to go too far because I actually I'm actually really really curious about um, like collecting everything else in the game especially the babies so I'll try to get as close as I can to whatever boss is in this area and if I feel like I need to I'll uh, backtrack and maybe see if there are um, things I missed which I don't think there is. Oh God, what was that? Oh, it's you again. Ooh. Laddock was in vain. It was my only opportunity to correct what has been done. What you and I have both done has doomed the world to more than it can endure. Tis a load that was always too leaden for our shoulders. What are you talking about? I thought I was just some night torn being turned into an evil beast. 
In order to vanquish Sladak, we must find a solution. And I fear it will not be a painless one. My attempt to face... Mm. So... Ladek is over there. I see. Uh, shit. So this is like the final room is like up ahead. So I'm obviously, yeah, definitely missing some, a bunch of stuff. There's gotta be, what am I missing then? Like, how am I missing anything? All right, uh, I'm going to take one last look around. This is my last attempt to look around and try to find anything that I missed. It is my last chance. Before I face the boss, I feel like I have to, like, at the very least try to get everything I need. Gross. That's still not everything. All right. All right, absolutely nothing good up here aside from a couple of redundant items. So here's what's gonna happen. Here's what it, what what's the plan? Here's how it's gonna work out. This is my probably my last shot to find every item in the game. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go back. I'm gonna level up when I can, or what I can, and before anything, I'm probably gonna cut the video here. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna try to find every single collectible item in the game. And I'm, I'm, I'm mainly talking about stuff like the cold, dry, uh, the cold one livers, um, the babies, which I still have no idea where they are. And, you know, just all of that. I'm also missing the, the last blueprint that would, uh, that would level up my scythe even further. The Barsops prototype. I'm missing it. If I'm going to get, like, the best shot at the final boss, I need to have it. I need to have it. So, I'll cut the video, and I'll just be looking around everywhere for it. This might, this, um, good thing I did this finale ahead of time, because I knew for a fact that I was missing shit. So, we'll go this route. And we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Such a treasure you have in your possession. The eyes of one who saw all, yet whose soul could not fathom all that it witnessed. He was of stronger mind and heart than you. No one is ready for what is beyond the sight of the naked human eye. There are, certain there are certain secrets that must be left alone. <laughs> Alright. So she knows about the eyes. The Esk's eyes. Which I still don't know what to do with the eyes. I'll have to figure this all out before I meet the final boss. Because I, I, I don't want to just fight him right off the bat. Yeah. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Gimme. Give 
I was wondering why there was nothing up here. Can't believe it missed this door. Gimme. Mm, yes, gimme. Okay, so it says I have nine on my person right now, which means I should be able to finish this quest line. Hive, hive, hive. certainly did take me some time. Holy crap, they were so hidden. And yet I feel something is amiss. There is space left in my stroller. Space which I will fill someday. I am certain. Sure. Whatever makes you feel better. The Oxneville family crest. Uh, the Oxneville family was blessed with the divine power, using their crest to conceal what they know and possess. Medea was the last of the family who, to wield it, the crest lost in a fearsome battle. Lady Helenia is now in possession of the emblem, keen to extract any, any knowledge she can. However, she is unsuccessful. Perhaps somebody else will prevail. Ooh, is she Hel Helenia? Is she the he Lady Helenia? My heart, and yet unfortunately, unfortunately, we will not get any more information from her. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, move on from that. The one thing I still don't know where it is, is um, Barsob's, web Barsob's blueprint. I wonder where I can find that. Got it. That's where you've been hiding. Thought I'd lay me eyes on this again. You'll be the talk of the manor, laddie. Can he get any better than this? Kenny! Architect of knowledge, deliver all the blueprints to Mariano. You are welcome. So now I can level up even further beyond. Ooh. Oh, how can it go? Okay, I'm going to grind a little bit for this. There's actually a really good spot to grind. And I have the... I have the bottles to do it, too. There we go. Master Smith, upgrade any primary weapon to its maximum level. I feel accomplished. So, uh... Maybe... <laughs> maybe upgrade something else? I could I can use the pistol without like any modifiers. So I kind of don't want to do that. Cuz once again, I have not been using I've not been using that like pistols very often, so probably waste of uh waste of moon silver if I do that. I can upgrade the nightfall blade as a secondary cuz it focuses mainly on dexterity. 
Mm, I didn't think about that. How many moonstones do I have? Not enough to upgrade everything, but I could at least, like, maybe invest some of it. I don't know. Isn't Nightfall Blade, like, the basic weapon that I had? I think it is. It's the basic weapon. Oh, I see. I don't want to do that, then. All right, there's only one last place to go to. And it's one that I already knew existed. It's way down in the crypt. It's the final thing I need to do. I think this is basically the final thing I need to do. Unless I'm missing something about the eyes, which I don't think I would. I think it... I think that I do something else with them, but I'm not sure. But I know the family crests are like they, they they belong in the very bottom of this cavern here. Yeah, let's go through this. And we just slot these in. Very nice. And it's another bed. I'm gonna get another reward. I like that. Let me uh, reward myself with a bit of my dinner here. Before moving on. Mm. Oh, there's a temporary checkpoint. That usually doesn't mean well for me, isn't it? Okay. I got a mouthful of dinner. Let's do this. No secrets in the secret. Got it. Oh, goody. Bones. Definitely not going to go well for me, isn't it? Oh, Cthulhu! When did you get here? Whoa! Oh, I saw it. And I was like, I decided not to do anything. Ow. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to keep attacking. Progeny. Oh, oh. Okay, do not jump into the fireball. The evil dark fireball. Oh my god! Probably, uh... All right, how am I supposed to dodge that? Oh. I went. I went for healing. Wait, I dodged something? Oh. 
Oh, oh, ow, ow. Probably shouldn't be under the thing that's causing me to explode. Got it! Thank God I upgraded my weapon to plus nine. Thank goodness. False God disavowed. It's been... You've been disavowed. Oh. Heart of Nycrix. Wait, another heart? Oh. I think I may have unlocked a possible um, good ending. Because I thought I was done with the, uh, with the Heart of Nycrix. But no. This, was, this is obviously the last one. Peasant note. It is true then. But the highest of nobles ventured here to conceal the secret of the one power. I feel their presence. What they have done. Consequences that cannot be reversed. From which no one can hide. Yet I feel a wrath that is not human. Perhaps tis a god? No. This is no god. Yet it carries the might of one. This is only the beginning. The ramifications that shall be felt by all in these lands. Interesting. So this is what the church was hiding. Some kind of false god, some false power. And I get a charm for my troubles. Let me take a look at this. Minus 15% power cost. I could see where that comes in handy. But I kind of don't have any room for it. But thank you. I'll take it. So I guess these are all nobles that sacrifice themselves to their deity, I guess. To this ultimate power that they were supposedly supposed to wield. Sucks to be dumb, to be honest. But with this, I think this is the only thing left that I needed to do. I think from here on out, it's, it's actually just the final boss. I think it's just Laddick. That's left. I was about we go say hi to him. I could have... You know, I could have uh, stocked up on more healing items, but I think this is fine. My attempt to... Oh, she was here the whole time. Don't worry about it. I might know what to do. Maybe. I, I don't care about your power. My reign is sealed by my new kin. By the Sepulchre. All shall kneel to me. Honor me. I am the architect of your existence, Nycton. All that you have is a gift of my benevolence. But now, for your insolence, I shall take it all back. Eat fist. I mean, eat scythe. You are past forgiveness. Your only heart can provide the mercy you deserve. I'm coming to get you. Hold still so I can hurt you! Ow. Ow. I'm not doing too well, aren't I? One slight. Bear witness, Nighton. Your time has come. All shall obey me. Surrender to the ultimate power. 
For I am the true God, the final savior, the last thing. Oh, he said the thing. He said the thing of the title. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ow. Oh my god. Alright, rolls are bad. Roll bad. I should have ducked. I know the duck now. not doing too well. Wow, you have a good reach. I did that to myself. I did that to myself. How do we dodge the other one? Do not dodge. Do not dodge roll. Dodge roll bad. Woo! go back to the mansion what's over here then oh wait I, oh should I take that I take that right because I need the night trucks right acquire every sepulchro promise broken I got an achievement for that cool I thought that was, I thought the game ends right there, but I guess we take that and you end the game back at the mansion. Where'd the lady go? Doesn't matter. I'm heading back. So that's what a sepulchre was. The heart of Nycrux was a sepulchre. To be honest, I wonder if the, if the, the priestess says anything, not the priestess, the nun. Before I uh, go into what could be the final 
final thing to do in the game. Oh, she's gone. Wait, Katarina's gone. Where'd she go? She probably went to the mansion at this point then. Let's see. I have to walk all the way. I have to walk all the way back? No, wait, hold on. I can I can fix this. Um broken pass, right? Broken pass would be the right one. Here. I can't go to the old ruins. Really? Oh, this is strange. They're doing their best to keep me away. To keep me away. All right. Then the closest one would be the crypt. No, the lit liturgical pass. I can go from here. Why would they do that, though? Is something supposed to go on just outside the, the uh, mansion that they don't want me to know? It's supposed to be like a big secret? I'm home. Is it? Will everyone miss me? Apparently somebody did. They're all gone. Well, thank God you're still here, Woman in Ink. We can't live without you. Um, she's gone. Oh, right. I guess I never finished her story. I never got the last liver. Oh, well. Oh, well, you live. You live and learn. Yeah, is everybody really gone? I guess this is really when they say, like, oh, it's... Yeah, you're done. This is the end of the game. Don't bother trying to look for people. It's over. All right. Let's see what I've won. Did I save? Yes, I did. Wonder of Il Illigarth. Oh. This is the final area of the game. You're, you're, you're... You're taking too long to end the game, man. I fought the final boss, or at least I hope I did. you to this place courage has blessed you now you must be honored oh i don't remember annabella <laughs> i know katarina but annabella no clue i do not wish for such a thing come now you have fought against the darkness healed the hearts of so many you are one of us in this revered chamber Ladak is defeated. Diminished. Ladak is slain, yes. But I fear his influence still lingers. You are correct. But no matter. You have joined us. You have finally relinquished yourself of that feeble vanguard order. Oh! I was part of the vanguard order. So that whole story about the vanguard being taken in by the ethereal order... He was part of that. For your moral actions, you must take your place upon the throne to rule and guide all who live in this terrible place. You will bring balance back to so many. We have all been terrorized for far too long, sitting in the shadow, slowly decaying, with our hope dwindling. With every passing second. Something tells me I don't want to do that. We have seen what you have done for all of us. You have brought us together. Cast aside our woes. 
There is no one more worthy. I don't believe you. Take the throne and continue your noble work. Annabella and I will remain beside you. Learned counsel for you to lend an eager ear. Oh. I kind of don't want to take the throne. What happens if I refuse? Decline. How dare you? We weakened Laduck. Ground him down until we could rip out his heart. You merely completed the task. We set your destiny in motion. A clear path for you to tread. A prosperous future anointed you a key entity of a single force to oversee these lands. So this was all a setup in the first place. They wanted to take down Laddick. And so my entire journey was, was orchestrated in, to some extent by these two. So maybe refusing the throne was a good choice. I don't like either of them now. You have rejected this destiny. So be it. You will not survive for long. You shall kneel to your God. Will kneel to me. Yep. This is going to be a thing. Woo! You would be nothing without us. Ooh, they tricked me. Whoa! No! What's happening? Oh! They're attacking in tandem. Oh, I see. I have to wait for the opportunity. Now! This is a case of her turn, my turn. Okay, stop. Woo! Woo! I still have 10 left, baby! Thank God for my fire resistance, right? Oh, this shit again. I'm gonna stay in the corner. If I can hit her, I'll hit her. Oh, they're not resting. I guess because they're sick of me comboing them to death.
You'll slip up, and when you do, I'll be right there to kill you. I say as I get completely thrown around. Ugh! Keepers of the secret, defeat Katarina and Annabella. Now I'll sit on the throne. <laughs> Only I get to rule the world. Me alone. You should have stayed away, Eric. Forsaken what wasn't yours, you bear. Medea. Yes. The knowledge you have amassed has been unbearable to resist. The prize. An illuminating one. A prize which I must now relinquish from you. Com cosmic void. Oh. Ow! Ow! Fuck. Oh, fuck. You I don't want to. God damn it. I have to be more careful. Please tell me I don't have to do the entire fight again. I'm going to get so pissed if it is. Oh, thank God I don't. Oh, that would have sucked if I had to start from the beginning. Now you're fucked. Unless I do something stupid like that. I could go between them. I shouldn't think that. No, you can take your time. You don't have to try to... Take your time. Do not greed. Try to understand her pattern. God, I hate her things. This way.
All right, thank you. That was fun. I like the part where I got hit by ice and electricity a lot. I hate you. Oh, are you kidding me? I guess you wouldn't be a final boss if you didn't like have things up your sleeve. Oh, there's more of it. No, that's just my imagination. My own destiny, you fucker! Yeah. The silence voice all will be revealed and embrace the cosmic voice. I got all three achievements. And it said I got consumed by the cosmic voice? I don't know what that means. Oh, uh, I guess that was the good ending. <laughs> uh, destroying the last faith, I guess, was a good thing. But uh, I don't know about the whole line between uh, Nightorn and mortals being diminished. So, so I guess uh, that's going to be that's going to be a terrible. Uh, this is going to be a terrible night for any human being now. Unless I miss something, which I don't think it, I don't think I did. So I'm just going to quickly look around like what the other endings are now that I've beaten this one. So the, so the normal ending would be if I accepted the throne. The second ending is when I refuse. The second ending is when I refuse the throne, fight the, fight the two sisters and then get swallowed by the cosmic voice. And I guess there's no, um, I guess there's no, uh, no final fight after that. And the third ending is what I did get, which is probably the true ending where the lines between celestial and mortal collapsed and the divinity is over. The last faith is over. So that's fine. I guess the Erks, I guess the Esk eyes were the ones that helped me get the true ending of the game. So everything else, I guess, didn't really matter. Unless there was something I missed with, like, maybe the, the heart of Nycrux, because I have no idea what to do with them. And I don't know. I'm not sure what else. But to be fairly, to be fairly honest, uh, that ending didn't feel super satisfying for me. I mean, I thought that... I thought that there would be a little more to it than just, oh, now everything's fucked. But this is a dark fantasy game. Not everything is supposed to go well in the end for most time at most times. Even the ending of Bloodborne, a lot of them didn't like end super well. <laughs> so I'm I'm not gonna get too beaten up about it. But anyway, that is the last faith. My thoughts on it, it's 
my thoughts on it is that it's, uh, I guess it's okay. I mean, it didn't, to be honest, if I, if I were to ask myself if this, um, filled that void that I have of playing these kinds of Metrovania games, like it, like, uh, Blasphemous did for me, I, I gotta say, not really. I mean, the, the, the gameplay was pretty, the gameplay was pretty fun. I didn't mind the jank at some point. Uh, the maps, the map uh, would sometimes like give me like inc like inaccurate or incorrect like like feedback. Like there was a door in the middle of nowhere that I think is actually just a bug. In terms of how well it is as a Metroidvania, it's it's good. I mean, I would definitely say that for anyone that likes Metroidvanias, you know, this is no this is a pretty good one. You you'll get a kick out of this one. Congratulations for being the game. You're a master of get good. Be excellent to one another. Also, waffles are pancakes with abs. The harder the conflict, what the hell are you doing? Oh, these are like thank yous or special thanks. Is this... Wait, wasn't this a... Um, oh, yeah, Game Grumps. So this was a, um, a uh, Kickstarter game, I guess. A, f a crowdfunded game. So I will say that despite like the shortcomings I felt... I think for a lot of other people, this is going to be a this is going to be a good game for them. I mean, all of the usual gameplay mechanics are there: leveling up, upgrading weapons, spells, uh, secrets, NPCs, quest lines that you can complete, and so much, so much more. So, unfortunately, I don't have much more to say about this game. It's uh, I I I can only say it's it's good. It's a good game. Not the best that I played, but definitely, but definitely something that I enjoyed for the most part. I definitely became invested in this game over over time. But towards the end, it just got, I don't know, it just got pretty, uh, I, I was pretty much doing brain dead stuff during the boss fights. I will say that the boss fights, I really liked, I really enjoyed like how there are different, there are different variations of bosses in the game from monsters to humanoids and the there are even bosses that are like the same as me like they're actual like game characters that you could play so they have they have a bunch of uh different variations i guess i could give it that normally you would see only like humanoid monsters as bosses or or some abomination but this one had a little bit of everything uh the variety of enemies was pretty good for a while but I did see that a lot of the areas, they kind of mixed together previous enemies with and sprinkled in a little bit of new enemies, if if need be. Uh, a lot of the areas I felt were very, were pretty varied in locale. I did like the crypt. I enjoyed the, the city of Erlim. I really love the architecture in the city of Erlim. My only other grievance is that I wish, I really wish there was a little more to the game. <laughs> I don't know why I think that, but I feel like I've beaten this game far too quickly or far more quickly than I thought. It could be because this game is is pretty fast paced, but I end up getting to the final area and I'm like, is that it? Isn't there any more to it? I just wish that maybe the difficulty was a little bit more. Was it, There was a little bit more in the difficulty because I was able to blow through the bosses extremely quickly. I'm, I'm just going to shut up because I don't think I can say any more about The Last Faith. I'm scrounging for what I th what I'm thinking about this game right now and I think I said everything I needed to say. So, you know, you know my overall impression on this game. It's pretty fun. I love the dark fantasy, love the gameplay. Uh but still not like up there on, on my top favorites. I guess that's all I want to say. So that was The Last Faith. Thank you so much for going through this experience with me. I uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see any other gameplay that I do on this channel, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Help this channel grow, and I'll be extremely thankful for it. Until then, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next game. Take care, everyone.